This video will be a continuation in our series on the lymphatic system, and this video will cover our lymphatic tissues. When we talk about lymphatic tissues, we're talking about aggregations of lymphocytes in the connective tissues of our mucous membranes and other various organs. So most of these are going to be diffuse lymphatic tissues where our lymphocytes are fairly scattered um, instead of being densely clustered. And these occur in a lot of tissues that are exposed to the outside world. And if you think about it, most of your tissues that are exposed to the outside world, such as your respiratory tract, digestive tract, urinary tract, reproductive tracts, all of those wonderful guys, they have mucous membranes. And so we call this diffuse lymphatic tissue malt, mucus associated lymphatic tissue. When we look at lymphatic nodules, now here we're not talking about lymph nodes, but nodules, we're talking about densely clustered groups of macrophages and lymphocytes that come and go in relation to pathogen invasion. And we'll see these in our pyrus patches in our uh, small and large intestines. So here we see some malt in association with some epithelium and our malt is fuse lymphatic tissue and it's just loosely associated with this mucous membrane and that malt is also going to be associated with a lymph node and it's going to pass on anything that it finds to that lymph node so that we can have an appropriate immune response. And our Peyer's patches are just going to be more densely populated with lymphocytes and macrophages and that's because they're associated with our small intestines and so they come in contact with all of the bacteria that you happen to put in your mouth. If you have any questions on lymphatic tissue, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.